Guys, I think my whole entire YouTube career has now peaked. That's right. I was recently featured in Dr. Mike's latest video. I did a video talking about this viral lunch product called Lunchly made by Mr. Beast, KSI, and Logan Paul. And ever since then, things have spiraled out of control. Physician Dr. Mike has taken a look at the latest influence of food items. Dr. Mike reacts to Lunchly. Lunchly just got destroyed. Dr. Mike absolutely dismantling Logan Paul. I agree with Dr. Mike. Really, really important stuff because it has to do with kids. That right there is a, just a small clip of Dr. Mike's recent video near the start of, of it, of where he is responding to how people have interpreted his initial video that he made about Lunchly. So about three weeks ago now, Dr. Mike made an initial video talking about the whole entire Lunchly controversy that's been going on. When he talked about it in that video, he went at it from a nutritional standpoint, from a doctor's standpoint. And to a certain extent, to a certain extent, and I'm going to get more into it later on in the video as well, because we're going to have to go down to this. We're going to have to get into the nitty gritty of this as well, is that to a nutritional standpoint, he did rip it apart a little bit. He did. He ripped up. He ripped apart. He took away the bare bones of Lunchly from the outside, looked at it from a nutritional standpoint and said that, you know, and this is not me like taking words out of his mouth and misquoting him, that using the word healthy with lunch Lunchly is not really a great use for the food considering it's not really a healthy food. Maybe it might be a little healthier compared to Lunchables, but calling something healthy that's not necessarily actually healthy for you using things that, such as processed food and also having, you know, an imbalance when it comes to things like sodium and calories. Um, for a child, especially when you're marketing this towards kids, call, having the word healthy involved in something like Lunchly is not the greatest thing, like, to have. And obviously, a whole lot of people made videos about it. We all did. I made a video about it, obviously, which is the reason why I appeared in the Dr. Mike video. And the title of my video was Dr. Mike Rips Apart Lunchly. In this video, in within Dr. Mike's newest video, he goes in on a few people using his words of what he said in that video of misinterpreting him and also misquoting him. And we're going to go over a few of those that he looked at, such as this one here, where the title of it is, Did Dr. Mike Just Destroy Mr. Beast and Logan Paul's Lunchly? Now, obviously, Dr. Mike has a problem with the title, but really, the title, yeah, it's a little bit clickbaity, but it's not that bad. But the real problem that Dr. Mike has with this video, with this title, is the thumbnail itself, where it takes a, it makes a fake quote of Dr. Mike stating that Lunchly will kill you. Just like the next one, using a, a fake Dr. Mike tweet once again saying, Mr. Beast lied. Another one with quotation marks this time, Dr. Mike saying disgusting, which he didn't really, I don't think he said that word at all throughout that whole entire video. Once again, using another fake quote, don't eat Lunchly from Mr. Beast. Lunchly is terrible. And finally, once again, another qu misquote saying this is sick. Now, this is the real problem that Dr. Mike has with. He even mentions it near the start of this video as well, where he directly says that he hates the fact that people are making thumbnails of him misquoting what he says. But something we need to talk about is this world of people taking my video and using it to create thumbnails lying about what I've said. So that is exactly what he says. He has more problem with the thumbnails. Obviously with the titles, you can have a little bit of a problem with them, especially if they are directly misquoting him and maybe using like, you know, one saying that like, did they destroy Mr. B destroying Mr. Beast? The funny thing is, is about that is that when they say Mr. Beach, Mr. Beast in the title, it is that Dr. Mike didn't really directly talk about Mr. Beast at all, which is why, especially in my title, I directly said Lunchly. Because Mr. Beast doesn't really talk too much about Mr. Beast. I mean, Dr. Mike doesn't really talk about Mr. Beast, sorry, much directly. He more talks about the product. People just use Mr. Beast because it's obviously more of a, you know, a title. More of a great title because means you put Mr. Beast in the video, that equals views, without a doubt. But obviously, because I appeared in this, in Dr. Mike's video, even though it was only for like three seconds, my little three seconds of fame. And the funny thing is, is that like the three seconds that I was put in, it's legitimately like nothing wrong with what I'm saying. Like, it's not me misquoting Dr. Mike. It's actually me agreeing with him and saying, I agree with Dr. Mike, which I did. If you actually watch my video itself, you would say that, uh, you would see that a lot of the things that I say is just more reiterating what Dr. Mike says and says that I like the fact that he's coming this from a nutritional standpoint. Now, when it comes to, you know, Dr. Mike calling me out, he doesn't actually direct, directly list me whatsoever. He only uses a slight clip of me. And I have nothing wrong with that. No, nothing wrong with that whatsoever. I mean, Dr. Mike and 
he's edited this, have every single right to go ahead and use me in his videos. Of course they do. Just like I have every right, you know, fair use, that's what it is, to go ahead and use clips of him in my videos when I'm talking about, you know, something that involves him. You know, this was involving him in his situation, and then he's using a clip of mine. Absolutely fine. I would never go against Dr. Mike. As a matter of fact, this video isn't really going against anything that Dr. Mike said. As a matter of fact, when it comes to people misquoting him, I agree with Dr. Mike. I think misquoting him directly and maybe using like some of the, maybe some of the titles are a bit clickbaity, but I don't feel like they're that bad. Is it clickbaity? Oh, uh, yeah, 100%. Misquoting him, on the other hand, that to me is the terrible part. And in no part did I misquote Dr. Mike whatsoever. And one of the reasons why I'm making this video is because I have gotten a couple comments on my past video. And obviously I have to address this as well. I was going to make a video about this regardless. I mean, I was in a fucking Dr. Mike video. How could I not make a video about it? Even though it was for three seconds, of course I'm going to make a video about it. But the funny thing is, is that nowhere in my title or my thumbnail or even in the video itself did I ever misquote Dr. Mike whatsoever. In my title, my title is called Dr. Mike Rips Apart Lunchly. And like I stated in a reply to one of my comments as well, is that, is the title a little bit clickbaity? You could 100% say it is. Yes. I don't think it's all that bad though. And one of the reasons why I don't think it's that bad is like I explained at the start of my video, is that from a nutritional standpoint, Dr. Mike kind of does rip apart lunch a little bit. Because one of the parts where I'm like, damn, he kind of ripped it apart a little bit, is talking about the difference between calories and sodium within a lunch -ly, and comparing it to what kids need on a daily basis when it comes to so certain lunches. Like I said, I watched Dr. Mike's initial video many, many times to make sure that I was getting the facts right and making sure that I wasn't misquoting him whatsoever. But in his initial video, he states that the calories in Lunchly being so low and then the sodium in Lunchly being so high for a kid's um, nutritional standpoint, they would need to consume 2.7 Lunchly's to be able to get the amount of calories that they need for a lunch meal. But because they, if they had to consume that amount of Lunchly, they would then go ahead and be consuming way too much sodium. So they're consuming not enough calories within a Lunchly and then consuming too much sodium in comparison. So to me, I mean, it's once again, that's a subjective thing to think, but I didn't misquote him. But to me, subjectively, I 100% think that he, that he did rip apart Lunchly to a certain extent. Did he fucking destroy them, take them down, bring out Mr. Beast and start bashing the crap out of him? But no, in terms of Lunchly, he does. Because they are saying that Lunchly is a healthier alternative. And I restate it in my video, and, Mr. and Dr. Mike states it in his as well. And it's exactly what I put on my thumbnail. It is what I put on my thumbnail. My thumbnail doesn't misquote Dr. Mike. As a matter of fact, it's kind of a loose quote, but I didn't want to put quotation marks because it's not a direct quote of what he says. But my thumbnail has Mr. Beast, Logan Paul, and KSI with a Photoshop image of Dr. Mike with the text on it saying, Lunchly misses the mark to be healthier. And Dr. Mike says that directly in his video. It's clear Lunchly, just like Lunchables, misses the mark too many times to be considered meaningfully healthier. At least in my opinion. And to me, when he said that, I'm like, damn. The fact that, you know, Lunchly is stating the fact that they are a healthier version of Lunchables, but then they also have these certain things that are deeming them not to actually be a healthy meal and using the word healthy within their marketing is a terrible way to go about things. And to me, yeah, I think that he kind of did, you know, go ahead and and rip apart Lunchly to a certain extent. But even like my thumbnail, my thumbnail is not clickbaity to a certain extent. It might be a little bit, but is it as bad as misquoting him? No. No, because I didn't misquote him. As a matter of fact, I would never misquote someone, ever. And if I have misquoted someone, you know what? I would then go ahead and I'd be like, that's absolutely fair enough. But yeah, the fact that then there's people also in the comments of my initial video stating that I um, was misquoting him and putting words in my mouth saying that, you know, I misquoted Dr. Mike when I actually never quoted him directly. And as a matter of fact, I just re reiterated a lot of the things he said. And to me, subjectively, he did rip apart um, Lunchly, just like it's subjective when Dr. Mike thinks that, you know, something is the most hilarious medical meme. I have nothing wrong with Dr. Mike doing that. And I love Dr. Mike. As a matter of fact, me making this video is more or less just me saying, hey, don't rope me in with these motherfuckers that actually misquoted Dr. Mike, that made fake tweets about him because I never misquoted him.
And I never would, without a doubt. I, I never would, and I never will misquote someone because I think misquoting someone and putting words in someone's mouth and making fake tweets to put on a thumbnail, to me, is just stupid. I would never do that. Whenever I make thumbnails, I always try to screenshot actual, like, tweets. If they are tweets, if someone's tweeted something out, I'll make screenshots of actual tweet. And if I put quotation marks, it's an actual quote that was written by someone that involves that direct situation. Whether it's the person directly or someone else mention saying those things within that situation. Those are the only times that I will go ahead. I never misquoted him. These other people, 100%. Without a doubt. The Dr. Mike never, like, actually directly mentioned my video. So, like... I feel like my initial video wasn't even that bad. And saying that he ripped apart Lunchly, I mean, okay. Uh, like, 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 oh my god. Slight clickbait exists on YouTube. Oh fuck, oh my god, clickbait. Clickbait will exist for the rest of the internet. Just to let you guys know. Clickbait will never go away. There is a certain extent that clickbait is bad. Everyone uses clickbait, without a doubt. Every, almost every creator, especially when you're a small creator and you want to try and get views, you'll use clickbait to a certain extent. But I also think that there is a line to it. And misquoting someone is the line. If you are literally making shit up for the thumbnail, like misquoting someone on the thumbnail, putting quotation marks that don't actually exist, that to me is going too far when it comes to clickbait. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video because I mean, I was starred in a Dr. Mike video. I mean, how could I not? And obviously, because Dr. Mike being the bigger creator and calling out certain people within the video, calling out their thumbnails and their titles, and obviously him being a massive creator, people are just going to go ahead, see that I was in it for like three seconds and rope me in with the rest of them and go ahead and come down to me. It's easy to pick on the little guy. I mean, of course it is. 100%. I mean, I mean, I got like 3,000 subscribers. He's got 13 million. Of course, people are going to like, you know, pick Dr. Mike's side, and there's obviously going to be extremists out there who just, like, you know, don't know how to chill out. But yeah, I would definitely like to hear what you guys think about all this down below. That's going to be it from me. If you did like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.